Mizu is a brand becoming more and more well known in New Zealand for providing great specs at a much lower price than their competitors. And now they're back with their new handset, the Mizu M3 Note. So let's see what it's like. So off the bat, I was impressed with the build quality. This phone is a full aluminium body, and as soon as you pick it up, you can feel it has a good weight to it. It sits real nice in the hand. The screen is also very nice. Slightly curved around the edges, 5.5 inch 1080p at 403 ppi. And yeah, it's sharp. It's got good viewing angles and color reproduction, and it's super bright indoors. Outside could be slightly better, but I was still able to read and use the device fine. So all good. As for the rest of the specs, we have a Helio P10 octa-core processor, 3 gigs of RAM, and you can either get 16 or 32 gigs of internal storage. But don't worry, there is also expandable storage, which supports up to 128 gig micro SD cards. So you will be able to fill this device with photos, music, and high-res movies. Their micro SD card slot also doubles as another SIM slot, so you can have two numbers on one device. Mizu also do this cool little thing where they take the capacitive buttons you usually get on the bottom and combine them with the home button. So a light tap takes you back to your previous page, a press returns you to the home screen, and holding it down locks the device. Even though I came from other brands of devices, I found this comfortable to get used to, and in no time I wasn't even thinking about it when using the device. So that's a really intuitive feature. But new to the M3 Note is the home button now also has a fingerprint scanner. Yes. And you're probably thinking, oh yeah, at a price like that I bet it sucks. But to be honest it doesn't. It's quick man and very consistent, and you can do some pretty cool things with it like lock apps. So Mizu did a great job with that. The rear camera sits at 13 megapixels and is flush with the body. And below that we have a dual tone LED flash. The front facing camera is also quite good at 5 megapixels. And something really cool is both the front and rear cameras can record video at 1080p. Quality is good as well, nice video, and the pictures are sharp if there's lots of light. It definitely takes great pictures during the day, and low light not so much. Although most phones have the same problem, it's just something to be aware of. Another great new addition is the 4100mAh battery, that's 32% larger than the previous. So it can get through a whole day easy as. There's also built in power management options. This phone comes default on balance, but you can crank this up to increase performance. Okay, so octa-core processor and 3 gigs RAM sounds pretty top notch, but how does it actually run? Quick. Actually really quick. Opening and switching between apps is fluid, and this phone handles multitasking well. Even after opening heaps of apps, I could just jump back to a previous app without having to reload anything. The Flyme OS is good too. It doesn't come full of all that Google bloatware, and instead just lets you download the apps you really need off the Play Store, which is a way better idea. The OSUI is clean, easy to use, and you can download new themes. And if you make a Flyme account, you can even get root permissions straight out of the box. It's got a good quality optimization app to keep everything fast and secure. It also gives you other options like picking app permissions and harassment blocking. So bottom line, the M3 Note is definitely a top quality phone for the price point. Like seriously, a third of the price of other flagships, and yet still delivers a responsive experience. Just remember it's not designed as a gaming phone. A few games work really well, and then a few of the more intense games don't. But really, Mizu have done a great job with this device, and I could highly recommend this to anyone wanting a top-notch smartphone without forking out heaps of cash. It's strong, snappy, and it looks really good. You can check it out yourself in store or online. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, and remember to subscribe to see more. I'm Eli from PB Tech, and I'll catch you in the next one.